captain Mohammad Azharuddin won the toss and India have put Sri Lanka into bat. You've seen the two teams and uh, they are unchanged from the previous matches. Azharuddin uh, choosing to chase uh, Sri Lanka. Manoj Prabhakar to bowl and to face him Roshan Mahana. And Sri Lanka off the mark. A gentle half push, half drive towards mid wicket. Parshad, the fielder, the batsman take two. It's Jay Surya now facing Prabhaka. We go through for a quick single. Good running between the wickets. That's a lovely shot by Jay Surya to the point boundary. Four runs. Ten for no loss, Sri Lanka. That one's firmly struck. Oh, not very far away from slip, but just far enough. And four runs. Hold in. Picks the middle stump out. Campbell makes the breakthrough. And Roshan Maharama with his tendency to put his front foot forward and then play across the line sometimes. Has paid the penalty there, you see he's trying to play across the line. Big gap between bat and pad and Kumble has struck for India. That's the first Sri Lankan wicket gone for 46. Could have seen in the new batsman. And there is the dividend. It's a wicket, a superb catch by Naya Mongia. Good delivery. And after one wicket, another follows almost immediately. Jaya Surya is out, caught by Mongia of Prasad. 46 for two. Two Sri Lankan wickets falling. De Silva is a new batsman. Oh dear. Just past Azruddin, a very airy shot that from Arvinda. He's got four runs all right. Now what is that all about? He probably should have been collecting that ball. That's right. Instead, he went up in the field and he's conceded four runs. And it's four leg buys. Well, exactly what the Bushtak said. And it's produced instant results. That gone for six over mid-wicket. What a shot. Fairly well set. Oh, that's a good ball. The Narapil is walked. He's gone. Play that walking off drive again. Mushtaq was always going to be vulnerable to the ball moving him. It was a beauty from Prabhakar. Just left the batsman. Off in the 21st over. It's 81 for three. And De Silva is gone for 13. Prabhakar to Rana Tunga. 81 for three. Rana Tunga off the mark. As he pushes that one away towards deep back with square leg. Another run. And that could should be close. Yes, because uh, umpire Klus was not looking that way. He was moving into position. A quick throw breaks the stumps. And umpire Robinson has been asked to decide on this one. And I do believe Arjuna Ranatunga will be third time unlucky. Twice he's escaped in the previous over. Run out chances now. This time, Azaruddin very quickly on the ball, and I think you will find that Ranatunga is well short of his crease. Yes, he is. No question. That is out. And that's a very, very vital wicket for India. Arjuna Ranatunga capable of changing the course of the match with his batting, but that's the third Sri Lankan wicket gone for 89. Been very impressed with the way Azza has been changing his bowling, bringing bowlers in, bowl a couple of overs, see how they go. Quite safe, very safe. Four runs. They all count, as they say. And a rare boundary 
coming to the Sri Lankan cause. Okay. Oh, he's gone, he's gone. Just look for a gentle little nudge down to third man. He'd been flirting with that shot for a long time. Got the outside edge. This is major trouble for Sri Lanka. Five down for 150. And Tilak Ratna, Kop Nongya, Bol Prasad. So new batsman, Ramesh Kaluvitarna. In out Ramesh Kaluvitarna. Oh, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. It's not quite, it's not impossible yet. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Guru Singer. That is a beauty. Big over this for Sri Lanka. Guru Singer does play the shot very well. Straight back down past the bowler's head. And if you're a fast bowler like Srinath is, you're not going to enjoy the proceedings at all. Tendulkar has 31 wickets in One Day Internationals, each costing him slightly less than 52 runs per wicket. And he has... asking for his 32nd wicket, disallowed. Well, the umpire indicating that uh, the bat hit the ground. Kaluvitarna gets that one away towards deep square leg, four more. Sri Lanka 192 for six at the end of the 45th over. Kaluvitarna just bowled by Kumle. 192 for six. Way out of reach of Manjreka because it's over the fence anyway and also went squarish of mid wicket for six. Well, that's a lovely shot there from Gurusina. He waited for the ball to come on, picked it up very early. Kumble to Kalpage. They go through for one and they should be close. It is he's out. Gurusena is run out and Sri Lanka have lost their seventh wicket. Well, there never was a run in it because the ball went at the right sort of pace to Anil Kumble, the bowler. 218 for seven. Last ball of the innings. They get one. Are they going to come back for the second? They're going for the second and they make it two. Yes, they do. That's one short. One short, so that's one run. 230 then, Sri Lanka for seven. Sri Lanka end their innings. 230 for the loss of seven wickets. And the two Indian openers, Manoj Prabhakar and Sachin Tendulkar, going out to do the job that's pretty much cut and dry for them now. 230 for 7 was what Sri Lanka made in their 50 overs. India have only 49 overs in which to make them. So here's Vas. First ball coming up for Sri Lanka. It's a good ball, cramping Prabhakar's space, but they've gone through for the run, they've made it. Vas to Tendoka. It's a good ball, it just skidded through, I thought. Well, that's cracked off the back foot. That's going to carry for four. Of the man of the tournament catch of the year, maybe the most sensational catch, but agony for Ranatunga. He's done 90% of the job, he's soared through the sky, totally belying his figure and physique. And at last, he finds the boundary in this over. Tenduka, on the other hand, is in prime health. Did it carry? Yes, not waiting for consultation with the square leg umpire. Prabhaka goes, caught by Kalawatana, off the bowling of Vas. The ball just carrying to the wicketkeeper. One batsman back in the pavilion. There we are. Navjot Sidhu, 31-year-old, an often unsung hero. That's why. A lovely start. And Ramanaka to continue. Yeah, he's gone. Good running catch. So Tendulkar's marvellous little innings comes to a close. And in India have lost their second wicket, 58 for two. The new batsman is the captain. In 
Zambia, 63 for two. That's another fine shot from Sidhu, four more. So with a minimum of effort, he picks up a useful quota from that over. Well, I know sooner give his score than he strokes another boundary. Really being prolific in that area, through the covers. Oh, that's a beauty. Probably will get a single. That's 50 to Sidhu. Well played, Navjot Sidhu. I'm assuming innings. Been in the background. But he's picked up the ones and twos. It's been a very, very valuable innings. 50 from 70 balls. Having said that... <laughs> well, Cyril Misley doesn't know whether it carried for four or six. I certainly couldn't see it was right down below us. Well, there's no doubt about that. That is the 50. Third wicket partnership of 100 in 121 deliveries. Good shot. Oh, that's coming our way. Absolutely straight. Well, you're well flat at delivery. Azaruddin using his feet and got underneath the ball straight as a die into the grandstand. Arjuna Ranatunga, the Sri Lankan captain. Runs coming from everywhere now. Just a bit of yes and no. Sidhu would have to hurry, and the throw was not made. In fact, they'll get overthrows. On your day, just about everything you do fetches runs. 153 runs, the partnership now, from 166 balls with Sunil that last ball again. Well, now Jod thinks Sidhu would have been uh, stranded. They would have been run out by almost half the length of the pitch. He actually didn't even make much of an effort to get back. Here's Ramanayaka. Azar is down the wicket, it's back past the bowler. That's four, and India won the Asia Cup. I guess it's pretty symbolic that the captain did it himself. Huge win by eight wickets. And India win a tournament here at Sharjah after 10 years and win their fourth Asia Cup. Tremendous effort. We've seen a match of great batting. Played in very good spirit. Lovely cricket match, Mr.